Hello and welcome to the eighth lesson of the course. This time we're going to create this figure that you can see on the reference image, the mermaid. To begin, let's create a cube. As we have done before, we'll need to scale it and modify its points. Place it on the Pro. Now let's keep scaling and modifying the cube until we have a shape that resembles a person. Later on, we'll use the Sculpt module to give it more detail. Grab the Loop Path tool and make the following cuts. Then modify the points. Remember to uncheck the Only Select Visible Elements box. Just keep modifying them to generate the silhouette of a mermaid. After some time, you should have a shape that resembles what we're looking for. As you can see on this video, the silhouette is much more accurate. When we are done with this, we'll make a couple of cuts to keep the mermaid more volume on the x-axis. So, grab the Loop Path tool and make the following two cuts. Grab the Loop Selection tool, select all these new points and scale them up on the x-axis to keep the figure more volume. Don't worry too much though, because in the next lesson we'll see how to work with the Sculpt module to improve this shape. Make another cut here. Now we'll select the points and, as always, we'll scale and modify them. Once you have the shape, you can go to Mesh, Transform Tools, and select a tool called Brush Tool. The Brush Tool will be very helpful if we set the right radius, because it allows us to work with a good amount of points at the same time. We can go to the right view and work from there. See? It's much easier to modify the shape this way. It's very useful for this purpose. That is, moving a lot of points at once. Now select the mermaid and place it inside a subdivision surface. In the attributes, reduce the value of Subdivision Editor and Subdivision Renderer to 1. However, this depends on your preferences and the level of detail you want to have. Create a cube. I'll speed up this part of the video, but I'll explain what I did here. So, I made it editable, I made a couple of cuts, and then I started modifying the points to generate a fin. I gave it more thickness and then I placed it at the end of a mermaid's tail. Then, using a symmetry or just by copying and pasting, we can get the other fin. To finish with this silhouette of a mermaid, we're going to create the arms. It's very simple. Select these polygons on both sides. All right, now make an extrusion. Later on, with the Sculpt module, we'll improve the shape, so don't worry. Scale down a bit. Then select these points and scale them down too to get the shoulders. Select now this polygon and the one on the other side. Extrude them.
scale them down and extrude again. You can turn off the subdivision surface at all times if you want to work more comfortably. Turn it on again if you want to see how the final result would look like. I'm going to stretch out the arms a bit more. And I'm going to modify the neck too. We could now add some props on the scene or on the ship. For example, I'd like to add some life boys. They're a little anachronistic, but I think they could look good. To do them, just create a torus. Go to the attributes and modify the ring segments and the pipe segments. Given that we are working with low poly objects, you'll need to lower these values a lot. Of course, it's up to you whether you want to have these life boys or other elements. And I used a symmetry to get the life boys on the other side. Finally, we can extrude these polygons to generate the hair of the mermaid. On the next lesson, we'll begin working with the sculpt module to improve this figure. For now, it's time to apply the last details. I'm going to show you what I did. Actually, I didn't make many changes. Let's see. For example, these two shapes on the back. Of course, the life boys too. I also added some shapes to the edges of the yards. And I added these shapes at the end of the lines. Very simple things. Okay, let's leave this for now. In the next lesson, we'll work with the sculpt module. See you!